Hey guys, we are back with some more Vancouver GM mode, and in the last episode we kind of, you know, tanked it a little bit, so <laughs> we are going to make a change, a big change, um, and uh, Evander Kane just hasn't, ever since the All-Star break last year, has not been producing, he's had 21 goals since that point, and that's about a whole like more than a season's worth of games so he just hasn't been performing recently and I think it's time uh, he I don't think he's feeling it in Vancouver anymore so we're gonna trade him and uh, one other face that I think has to go as well is Alexei Korolyuk he, uh, he seems to have hit his potential here and uh, is uh, is just dropping the ball so both of those guys got to go, so I know exactly what I want to do here. Uh, so, all right, so Kane, Korolik, a second. Our newly drafted sniper Ben Crawford but he only has three and a half stars so and he's only uh, 60 overall so we probably won't be using him uh, for the rest of for the length of this GM mode he probably won't be in the NHL and Ryan heaps because he's not producing like we thought or uh, uh, advancing like we thought he would and we are gonna trade all these guys to st. Louis for Vladimir Tarasenko and Jake Allen and then a throwaway player um, so yeah <laughs> uh, this trade is happening <laughs> hopefully because uh, I mean Kane and Cora look pretty much cover Tarasenko along with Crawford he adds in the extra trade value uh, without a contract. And again, we're probably not going to be using him. He's only a 60 overall. So, and Heaps, again, hasn't been developing like we thought he would. And then a second to sweeten the deal. So, Tarasenko, yeah, that trade value is really up there. So that's why I know this may look like it's overextending, but it's really not. Like, that... That trade value pretty much doubles since the Blues don't want to give him up. So, yeah, we need. that's why we need to give up a lot here. But I think this makes sense for both teams. Because the Blues are getting Kane for now. And, and look how much under the salary cap St. Louis is. They're probably not that good of a team, you know. They pro yeah, you know, they have Tarasenko and probably some other guys, a couple other guys up front. But, you know what, they probably don't have the greatest team if that's their salary cap so they get uh, a potential goalie you know uh, one that's probably hit his cap but still has the possibility of growing for or an already solidified uh, backup in Jake Allen and they get a second they get a future sniper in Ben Crawford they get Ryan Heaps, who could turn out to be something, probably not, but could. And uh, they get Evander Kane to fill the void of Tarasenko right now. Obviously, he's not as good as Tarasenko, but he can get it done. He could definitely... Uh, I feel like if Kane gets traded, you know, he'll uh, sort of pick it up wherever, uh, wherever he goes. So, will it go through? Yes, it will. Very nice. And he... Uh, the St. Louis general manager, uh, yeah, he just he just said, uh, well, on the, behalf of the St. Louis Blues, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. So we didn't, we really didn't overextend there. We uh, actually gave out probably the right amount. So there you go, Vladimir Tarasenko. How nice does that look? Um, and then yeah, along with the side of Nichushkin, and then Tur hopefully Taras will be able to produce alongside of Tarasenko. If he can't, then, man, you got some got some problems there. You need to work out, Taras. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So now we got Jake Allen as our backup. 
And we got Tarasek Show <laughs> on the first line alongside of Taras and Natushkin. And we're just waiting on Hensik to grow. But so far, he's had the most points out of anyone on the uh, Vancouver Canucks. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, Tarasenko uh, has more, but that's, again, all on St. Louis. Um, but, yeah. So hopefully that'll change things for the better. Four-man power play. Tarasenko. You know what? Let's put Hensick on the four-man power play. And that's the thing about Hensick, too. He wasn't even on, like, the four-man power play before. He was just on the regular second-line power play and the third line. That was about it. And he still had the most points on the team. So he's going to be a stud for the uh, for the future. Uh, four and four. Tarasenko. Switch you. Yep. Yep. And Tarasenko. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> uh, oh, AHL. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> There's no uh, no prospects down here. I really want to grow anyway. Yeah, there's no one down here. Yeah, we can go. Uh, go ahead. So with that trade, uh, we are officially saying, you know, within the next few years, we definitely want to win the Stanley Cup. So, all right, let's get to the simulation again, and uh, we'll slow sim uh, the game against the San Jose Sharks to see how we do. Continue. Come on. Another thing I want to do, actually. Not stats. Coaching options. Uh, jerseys. I feel like Natushkin and Zadarov haven't been playing too well. So... I'm going to give the A's to someone more deserving here. Uh, I think Callahan and Spiza. <laughs> and as for why I'm giving the A's to Callahan and Spiza, even though they're not producing many points, they're still a couple of the only plus players left on the team. Um, so let's go to the stats here for a second. And I'll show you guys the plus minuses and uh, minus Tarasenko, of course. Uh, well, Tarasenko might not be a minus, but you know what I mean. Uh, he hasn't been there too long. So, yeah, Spiza and Callahan have the two highest plus minuses on the team. And they're both veterans, so we can count on them to hopefully take us uh, uh, a bit closer to the playoffs. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, uh, we're really far away. And... Uh, it's going to be a tall mountain to climb, but I think we have to rely on these two uh, to play good defensive hockey to uh, to really make us have a chance. So here we go. First period, second period, third period. Very nice. Tarasenko, King, Tarasenko again, and Hensik. That was a good trade already. <laughs> Let's not uh, 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 hope. Hope that, uh, or, uh, yeah, let's rather hope uh, that works out in the long run as well, uh, instead of uh, Evander Kane. And, yeah, it looks like Turris got an assist there. That's good. He's playing, he's playing well. One, two, three, four. You know what, let's just go to the end of the season. And uh, just hope we can go on a, go on a streak here. Because, uh, we need every point we can get. Not even overtime losses would be sufficient at this point. I think we need to win like every game. Oh, there's a loss against LA. I say we have room to lose about like two more games. <laughs> Tops. So we really need to go on a tear here. There you go. Nice two wins. That was definitely a good trade. I, I, I just have a good feeling about that trade. Especially, you know, when it's a, you know, 92 overall sniper, no big deal. <laughs> there you go. And it's against St. Louis, too. N nice win. We are looking much better. 
looking much better. Ooh. Lost against the Caps. Come on now. Rebound against the, against the Flames. I'm allowing like one or two more losses, tops. Come on. <laughs> Win all of these games. I want to get to the playoffs this year. But yeah, we officially made a statement with that uh, Tarasenko trade, I think. There you go, boys. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Four games this this uh, this week. Islanders. Oh, come on now, no more room. Oh my God, no more room for uh, error here. We gotta win every game here. I mean, I know that's it's kind of yeah, it's kind of pushing it, but you know what? <laughs> I really want to make the playoffs this year. Let's just go. My boys. <laughs> we lost all four of those games. Now, granted, two of them were in overtime, but still. Uh, well, I mean, fair enough. We're still getting points out of those, but... Man, the playoffs are going to be real... Uh, they, probably not happening this year. Unless we get really lucky with the, uh, with the standings and the simulation of, of the other teams in our division... And hope that we're like at least second wild card. Like I'd be fine with that. I like the second wild card. Uh, we we should be like cheering in the streets. <laughs> All right, come on now. Four games left. Oh. If we lose, yeah, any one of these next three games, I think we're done. I mean, I think we've already been done. But uh, you know, any possible random chance of us making the playoffs depends on these next two games here um come on boys yeah i think uh yeah we're out there's no way there's no way we're in the playoffs <sighs> yeah there's no way <laughs> there is no way we're in the playoffs now uh Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're not in the playoffs. <laughs> Ooh, oh man. I'm not... F <sighs> if we just had... Hold on. If we just had three more wins, we could have clinched the second wildcard spot there. That sucks. Uh, There's the leaders and all. A bunch of guys with uh, above uh, point a game players, at least eight in the NHL. I would imagine there's more after that because it ends off at 92 there with Taylor Hall. Uh, there's the goalie leaders. All right, let's go to Stat Central just for this uh, for our players because I don't think any of our players were on that list. I didn't see any uh, Vancouver label. Man, that really sucks. We traded for Tarasenko, and you know what? We got more wins than I thought we would but then again you know we did get Tarasenko <laughs> so all right so Vertanen is second on the team and I mean uh, Tarasenko he's good and all but he wasn't here for the whole season so I'm just gonna count Vertanen as yeah Vertanen Hensick did good jobs this year hopefully you both jump over the offseason Hensick's already in 82 Offensive awareness is a 90. Passing is an 89. He's going to be a stud. Uh, let's check a plus minus. Yep, Spies and Callahan. I am glad I gave them the A's. Even though Callahan may not be here after this year. Or, you know what? He might, he might be here after this year. You never know. And then uh, Spies, uh, we're going to keep him. He's, uh, he's solid defensively. But, yeah. Taurus, I mean, he picked it up a little bit. Yeah, he definitely picked it up. He had like 36 points. And then after that, in 20 games, he had yeah 18 points. That's that's solid for uh, Kyle Turris. So he's getting back on track. Uh, that was that was a crucial trade for Vladimir Tarasenko. And then uh, Nachushkin, he's also uh, sort of getting back on track here. 54 points. He had 35, I believe, in 62. So... Yeah, that trade for Tarasenko was definitely a good idea. Uh, Hampus Lindholm, uh, not a great season defensively, but he did get uh, the amount of points he should be getting. So, 
Can't complain there. Klingberg, I know he can produce more. Um, again, no one really had too great of a season, though, uh, before the uh, before the Tarasenko trade. Uh, Horvat, I don't know how many points he had. I think he had like 30. So, I mean, it seems like the whole team picked it up after the Tarasenko trade. So, you know, I, I, I really can't complain about those last 20 games. I guess I just wish we avoided that uh, 11 game losing streak we had before. Man, that was brutal. That that literally killed our our chances at the playoffs. If we if we won three of those games, we would have been in the playoffs. My God, and uh, yeah. So goalies. I mean, again, not the greatest season, obviously, since we didn't make the playoffs. But uh, we definitely improved at the end, so I think we can look forward ne- to uh, next year. Goals four per game, 19th in the NHL, 2.7. Uh, I believe that was around like 26 last episode, so that's a definite improvement. Uh, goals against per game, 10th, 2.71. So uh, it could be better, but we're top 10, so can't, uh, can't complain. Uh, power play, top three in the league, 21.3. Not going to complain there. That's that's really good. Uh, penalty kill, uh, 11th in the league with 82.4. So that could be a bit better. But again, uh, just not the greatest season. So hold on here. Let's check the GM tracker. Uh, no, I want to save for the amateur scout. Yeah, um... Let's just simulate the playoffs, I guess, now, because... Actually, you know what? We'll uh, simulate those three AHL games. Because, um, yeah, there's not really much else to do, so... Yeah. Kevin Klima, a.k.a. Mitch Marner, leading the goal scoring in the in the uh, minors. Valk, leading with 48 assists. And of course, Cordes and David with uh, 192 penalty minutes, the uh, enforcer down there, and then Man Dixon with 28 wins. All right. So are the Utica Comets in the playoffs at least? No, they are not. Wow. So it's really not the Vancouver Canucks season here. I mean, again, don't get me wrong. These last 20 games were, you know, decent for our stats. So I feel like we do have to look forward to next year. One, two, three, four. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get all this done, and uh, after the retirements, I'll just end off the episode, and then uh, we'll do the draft and uh, free agency and whatnot. Oh man, my <laughs> my throat hurts today. Just had to go to the dentist for the first time in like four years or something. I know, I know, I know. It's it's uh, that's not. Uh, generally you know uh <laughs> a good idea to only go like every four years but i'm sure i cannot be the only one who's uh <laughs> who's done that um yeah so uh my mouth's kind of numb they had to use uh this little gel to put on my uh gums and uh yeah it's, it was uh it was a little numbing gel and it was uh not it was not fun but, uh, yeah, I mean, it took an hour to clean my teeth. I mean, <laughs> it was, like, the, probably one of the longest dentist appointments I've ever, ever been in. But, anyway, enough enough about that. Uh, yeah, scout. All right. So, yeah, we'll scout this Wotherspoon guy. Uh, June 22nd. Yep, that's where the uh, retirements are. I really wish there was retirements in... Uh, NHL 16 in PS4 I'm, like, or is there retirements that I'm just missing them or something like I know there's the messages the message board stuff like they uh, do the main guys like you know when like Datsuk someone like Datsuk retires they'll they'll say on the message center oh you know Datsuk hangs them up or something uh, like the, I know they'll do that but is there a list of like the whole retirement class because that, that, that'd just be nice to, to know who's retiring. You know, that's 
that'd be uh, that'd be nice. <laughs> Uh, so the Stanley Cup champions are the Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, Calder Cup, Hartford. So come on now, let's just get to retirements here. And then I'll also check the awards and the playoff tree <laughs> before I forget. Man, I really hope uh, I really hope Pantic grows a lot this year, this off season. It's going to be uh, <laughs> pretty crucial into determining next year's success. And if he grows to like an 84, 85, we can put uh, Bo Horvat on the third line because he's actually technically, I think, a third line scorer. Uh, did we lose anyone? Uh, oh, Ryan Callahan. All right. It was, it was nice having you here, buddy. <laughs> nice having you here. Uh, thank you for your service. So uh, yeah, Ryan Callahan's gone. <sighs> he was a good, he was a good little player for us there too. He, he was a good defensive player. Uh, so yeah, definitely now we need to, uh, we need to hope <laughs> that uh, that Reed Hensick grows and uh, maybe play Bo Horvat on the wing where Callahan was, or get someone in free agency. I don't know. Uh, you guys gotta let me know on that Sat Central awards. So the Stanley Cup, Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, Edmonton got the presidents. Uh, so it was Minnesota versus uh, Pittsburgh. The Art Ross, Stephen Stamkos, uh, Hart Memorial, Stephen Stamkos, James Norris, Anthony D'Angelo, Lady Bing, Patrick Kane, uh, Calder, Reed Hensick. There you go. Uh, <laughs> whoever doubted it, I mean, he, kid's a stud. He's gonna be even more of a stud later. <laughs> uh, Colin Smith, Sidney Crosby. Uh, Vazna, Phil DiMeo. Oh, you know what? Phil DiMeo. Wasn't that, uh, oh, man. Wasn't he the goaltender that was in the draft with Korolok? You guys gonna let me know there. Because if he was, man, we missed out on a pretty good, a pretty good, uh, goaltender, I guess then. Uh, William M. Jennings, uh, Jonathan Bernier, Bill Masterton, Jeremy Lawson. Frank J. Selke, Jonathan Drewin, and Ted Lindsay, Stephen Stamkos, and then the Morris Richard, Jamie Ben. So there you go. And oh, oh, playoff tree. NHL. So there you go. There's the Stanley Cup final. There's the East. There's the West. Pause the video if you need to. Uh, I think that's about it. So. I will see you guys in the next video when we tackle the draft, resign stage, and hopefully free agency.